exercise to wait till the 10th day and they file it. Then it is after that date that the registrar will serve them with hearing notices for the courts to come and sit so that we don't go through that. Now, if they don't file within time, they don't file within time, then the respondent or the person who is supposed to, the, the applicant, there's an applicant and there's a respondent. The respondent, as I said, the rules give them 14 days. Then the applicant will have another seven days to respond by the rules. So all in all, if service is done immediately a process is filed, on the date the process is filed, you will have a, a maximum of 21 days. Now give or take another two, three days for service. You would have another, so the instruction was that wait for a minimum of 25 days. If no process is filed, then serve hearing notice so that the court will sit. At that time, we will know that everybody has been given all the opportunity given by the rules and they didn't file their processes. So we can either, we can deal with the motion on its merits. In this particular case, as soon as the case was filed, the Attorney General filed his response. His, he filed his affidavit in opposition. So the case was ripe for hearing. We were going to go on Easter break, and the Attorney General wrote and said, this is a matter of governance. So could the court issue hearing notice for the case to be heard? And the court was going to sit on the Wednesday. And so hearing notices were issued so that the <coughs> applicant who filed the case himself and who should be moved, who should be interested in his case himself will come to court. And all the different, uh, the two other respondents will also come to court. So the bailiff went and sent all of them with hearing notices. And when the court sat on that Wednesday, it formed part of our list. Because hearing notices have been served on everybody and the respondents had filed their affidavits in opposition. At least the Attorney General had. So when the case was called, the affidavits of service were on the docket. We knew that the applicant had been served, speaker had been served, Attorney General had been served, speaker's lawyer was in court, Attorney General was in court. Attorney General had filed his affidavits in opposition, so nothing should stop the hearing. 